Hi, it's Wendy Harrington with my little video snippet for the day. And today I want to share a story of love with you. So um, about two years ago, I was really, really struggling. And I just reached a place where I just felt so terrible about myself. I felt really racked with guilt and shame and I just couldn't shift it no matter what I did. And one night I woke up and I was in such inner turmoil that I just didn't know what to do with myself. And I remember I, I punched myself on the leg that kind of helped a little bit, but it was still there. And in the end, I punched myself in the face. And then I did it again. And I finally managed to, I think at that point I broke down in tears, and then I finally managed to get off to sleep. And when I woke up in the morning and looked in the mirror with a couple of sort of, you know, mild black eyes, I, I looked at myself and I thought, I need help. <laughs> so I rang my sister, was the first thing I did, and confessed that, hey, look, I've done this and I, and I need some help. Now the difficulty is, where I'd been having these expansive experiences, I didn't know where to go and I, I didn't want to just go down a normal counselling route where it was just about the things in this material world because I'd been having these expansive experiences of something way beyond that. And there was a lady in uh, the circle of friends that I was in who'd been helping some of my friends and she was up in Scotland. And so I thought I would go and stay with her. So I went to stay with her for four days. And Martha, who was the baby that was born when I was poor, well, before, just before I was poorly, um, who was then 11, she went to stay with my mum in Bristol. And at one point I was um, on the lady's couch and she's doing this healing work and it was amazing. But again, I reached this utter, utter despair, this utter, you know, just awful feeling that I didn't know what to do with it. And all of a sudden I was aware of Martha in my mind and she said, you have to forgive yourself, mummy. And I said back, I don't know how. And she said, see yourself how I see you. See yourself with my eyes. And in that moment, I felt this most incredible love flood through me. And I knew that I could have killed every single person on the planet and I would still be loved. That there was nothing so bad that I could do that meant that I was unlovable. And the most amazing thing was when I then got back to my mum's, I think it was the next day in, uh, to Bristol to pick up Martha, I arrived and she came running up to me and she said, all right. And I said, yes. And she said, I came to you, mummy. I came to you because you needed me. And then it was like, wow. And then we had this kind of conversation. and. And then we came home um, to Exeter and then a few days later I said to her, I said, Mars, I said, do you love everybody like that? I said, or do you just love mummy like that? And she said, oh no mummy, she said, I love everyone like that. And I go around and I knock on their hearts and some people's hearts are open and some people's hearts are closed and that's okay. And I thought, wow, isn't that amazing? Now, this is not to say that I'm special or even that Martha's special. What I want to share with you is like this love is available for all of us. And we are the ones that are in the way. We are the ones that are blocking it and saying, oh no, don't love us like that because we're not worthy. Don't love me like that because I'm not good enough. And I wanna tell you today that you absolutely are good enough and you absolutely are worthy. And that same love is there for you as it is for all of us. So that's my message today, a real message of love, which really kind of gets me because it's like, yeah, why? Are we stuck in all this suffering? And we're stuck because we're saying I'm not good enough. Um, so yeah, that's my thought for the day. And um, loads and loads of love to you because you absolutely are um, amazing. And um, I really hope that you remember that and that you start to experience this incredible love too because you are totally worth it. So lots of love from uh, me to you and I will speak to you again tomorrow. Bye for now.